How's it going everybody? It's Cloak and Daggerish here and tonight we're going to talk about sweating. Specifically why people do it, the decline of the sweat market, and how we can make more ped while sweating and from sweating. So let's first talk about why people sweat. Sweating is usually the primary income for n most new players because it's one of the very few things that you can do to make pet in game. You do it by using your VSE MK1, which is pretty much the only tool that is unlimited and does not decay. So you do not have to repair it, which is very handy. Um, and then you would either uh, sweat small mobs over at like Camp Icarus or Half Moon Bay at the starter areas, or you can come to areas like uh, Bora, Bora's where I'm at um, or if you venture to the lower half of the map you could go to places like Club Royal down here and a couple other spots and sweat in the really big areas. That's uh, probably the best place for sweating but because it's a, a weeknight there isn't a whole lot of people sweating over there so I came over to, to Bora's where there's a lot more people. So the sweat market, you might hear a lot of people kind of complain about. Um, currently, it's going for roughly one ped per thousand bottles of sweat. And a lot of people aren't happy about it. You might hear some of the older players talk or even some of the, the newer players mention that at one time the sweat market was anywhere from seven ped to ten ped per thousand bottles of sweat. Well what happened? What changed to drastically drop the value of sweat? Well part of it is is there is quite a few people who do try to play this game as free to play. So there is a, a large quantity of sweat available. Um, the other part of the reason the sweat market is as bad as, as it is is because when sweat was selling for 7 to 10 peds per K, there weren't vehicles in the game. Those weren't original to the game. So in order for people to get to some of the more remote locations, they relied on telep teleportation chips, which rely on mind essence, which is made from uh, sweat and force nexus. Once vehicles were introduced, that really hurt the sweat market and drove down the price quite a bit. When I started playing about five years ago, it was around 1.8 to 2 ped per K. And like I said, now it's down to about a ped per K. I don't know if it will drop much lower than that. Um, I know people are always, especially new players, are always willing to undercut to get, and make that quick sale and get that ped so they can start playing. But um, if you're selling it for less than a pet, you're really, really, really hurting yourself and you're really hurting the other players. Um, but that being said, um, let's talk a little bit about sweating etiquette because a lot, of, a lot of new players don't understand the sweating circles and how they operate and how we can... Um, that one's dry. Um, how you can really make this more efficient and really maximize your earnings. Uh, the other day I did a test to see roughly how many bottles or how long it would take for me to get a thousand bottles of sweat. I did this over at uh, Royal Club with a large group of people um, and it was running pretty efficiently um, and it took me about an hour and a half to get a thousand bottles of sweat. So and, that, and that's just kind of a rough figure. I didn't do a ton of testing. But even if you figured 1,000 bottles per hour, that's one ped per hour. That's You're making 10, 10 cents an hour. There's children in sweat factories and third world countries that are making more money than you are. Um, but we can increase, increase the, uh, the amount of sweat you pull and make a little bit more. And then I'm going to talk about some all the things that we can do while we're sweating to really, really maximize our earnings. So back to the sweating etiquette. Generally, when you're sweating in a group, 
you want to sweat in a, a tight circle around the mob. And here you can see at Bora's, it's kind of a cha chaotic mess as it usually is. This is why I prefer to sweat at Royal Club. Um, but the idea is if you form a tight circle around the mob, it won't run all over the place. So then your character doesn't have to keep retargeting the mob and you'll get more successful uh, collections off the mob. What you don't want to do is be like this guy off to my right here who's standing far away from the circle and pulling the mob away. That's usually frowned upon. And in places like Club Royal where it's PvP non-lootable, um, if there's Ubers there, they will shoot you if you're standing off to the distance away from the sweat circle because it just it hurts everybody and it hurts you. Uh, part of the reason we also sweat is to gain evade points, which are very, very useful for hunting. So when you stand in that circle, you're you're getting evade points. You you want to be up close to the mob, getting that evade. It's 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 helping you in the long run, even though it you might die once in a while and have to wait for your health to respawn, or you'll have to regen your health. Uh, another thing is is not going AFK and and walking away from the computer. You should be nearby so that when the mobs are dry, you can um, let somebody either kill it or pull it to a turret. And then somebody else will pull in a new mob or you could pull in a new mob. And another thing you should really do is communicate. Usually the local chat, people will say, hey, I'm going to pull mobs. And one guy might say, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot or I'm going to uh, turret them. All this, we you got to work together with your fellow Entropians to really, really make it efficient. It, it's nice and it can be really enjoyable. Um, I've had some really nice conversations with other people in, in sweating circles, and it, it's uh, not only a way to make money, but it's a good way to socialize with people as well. So, the last thing I want to talk about is things you can do to really maximize your earnings. Like I said, at best, you're probably not going to get more than a thousand bottles per hour, at best. So what I recommend doing, and not everybody's going to agree with me on this because it does involve using third-party sites, but there are a couple of them, and you might see people advertise them in their with their societies. Uh, one of them is Entropia Partners, which is a website that pays for microtasking, uh, things such as watching ads, listening to radio music, um, surveys, downloading uh, app games, and they pay you with PED for completing these different tasks. And these can be done while you're sweating. If you've got a second computer screen, you can do it over there, or if you have a cell phone or a tablet, uh, you can do it on there as well. So while you're sweating, there's a lot of downtime you could be filling out a survey, you could be listening to music or watching some of these ads and making some extra PED. And what's nice about the Entropia Partners site, it's not my favorite, but it does pay you in PED in-game directly, which is which is kind of nice. Uh, my The other site I'm going to recommend is called Swagbucks. Um, this is my personal favorite, and I'll have a link for it in the description down below. It's similar to Entropia Partners, except it pays better and you get paid with gift cards or PayPal cash. I, I do the PayPal cash and it gets deposited directly into my PayPal account and then I put it into my bank account and then I make my microtransactions through the Entropia web shop. And that's how I, I, I basic, I don't wanna say I pay for free. I'm a, like an alternative depositor. I'm not depositing money directly out of my pocket, I earn money in my free time while I'm sweating or on my lunch break or whatever and then I take that money and I use that to fund Entropia because I don't like paying with my hard earned 9 to 5 job money that's for other things like my house payment and you know adult responsibilities and such because this game does get expensive and it can get out of hand if we don't uh, keep an eye on how much we're spending with those um, third party sites you can make anywhere from a couple bucks an hour to 
uh, you're probably not going to make more than a couple bucks an hour. Surveys will pay you anywhere from 25 cents to like $3 a survey. They take anywhere from 5 to 45 minutes, depending on how much they pay and who they are. Um, watching ads, if you can get it to work, that's my other big beef with it, is it can be very glitchy. One of, one of the works, it's fantastic. You make a um, couple peck for every like four videos, so in an hour you'll make like 15 peck or something like that, roughly. Um, their radio, I haven't been able to get to work, but that pays you, I think, one peck every like 10 to 15 minutes or something, so that's not bad either. And you can have that running while you're sweating and you'll, and you'll be making just that much more ped and you'll be able to spend more time doing the things you like like hunting and mining and crafting and less time at the sweat circles and ultimately you're kind of helping the sweat market by by not putting out so much um supply you're, you're the, the more you sweat the more you hurt the market unfortunately but it is a necessary evil it does provide us with things like uh, force or not force nexus um, mind essence and it's also used in welding wire blueprints I think it's used in a couple other things to be honest with you I wish mind arc would change some things to make it um, like a higher demand I think instead of putting it in the wire welding blueprints or the, I guess they could they could leave it in there but I think when you May, uh, craft fuel or refined fuel I think they should have had it where you had to use sweat because then it it would it uh, how, how would I put it? It, it you still had you'd still have that demand because you most people don't go through that much welding wire unless they're on a mothership or maybe like flying a lot and they have to deal with pirates people who are on planet side especially like new players very rare that your your um, cars and your your small ships get damaged. I know mine hardly take any damage. I'm pretty careful with them, so I really don't use that much welding wire, if hardly any. And if I had to use sweat with the fuel, I would definitely use a lot more because you know everybody uses fuel every every time you use your vehicle, you're using fuel. So that would right there would just help the sweat market, and it would kind of make it a little bit easier for new players to get into this game because it is very difficult especially with the sweat market being so low um, if you were getting closer to 10 peds you would be spending a third of the time doing this or even less I mean I, it would be just a whole lot easier for new players so that's just kind of my thought and if, if uh, any of the devs are listening anybody who works at Minark is watching my videos um, just an idea throwing that out there I'm gonna have I've got a lot of different ideas that I want to talk about uh, as far as Entropia Universe goes but I'm gonna save those for different videos and I'm gonna wrap this up here so if you haven't already like and like and sub uh, subscribe if you got any questions comments concerns put them in the comments below or ask me in game um, I, I, I do my best to get back to everybody and uh, I'm looking forward to getting to know you a little bit better and and spending time with you in-game. So until next time, have a good one.